We've got a 63 Resto over here. Interesting choice of wheels. Not quite my choice. And what are they? 17s? Yeah, 17s. Let's see if I can open the hood. Yes. LS 5.7. What's that? LS. Uh, yeah, supporting parts modifications, da 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 fuel system upgrade to electronic, aluminum radiator, silicon hoses, Wildwood brakes, uh, uh, rear disc, suspension mod, uh, body mods all been going on over. So it's really a very nice rest out. You like the 63. Look at that beautiful interior. That is gorgeous. Great gauges. Still a manual transmission, which is nice. Again, a 63 rest, resto rod. Only thing which I'm not fond of is the wheels, but that's personal taste. Asking, oh, it's, it's another one. Eighty. Let me just double check the price on this. It's pricey, folks. It is pricey, but you know, if you like the looks of the early car, eighty-seven thousand. Uh, they've got the work into it, but I'd rather have an original for that. Let's check out this GTO convertible. Honest blood. Check out the 72 Skylark. That's the flat black, not my favorite, but the reason why I really like this car is the rare sunroof car. This is the cloth sunroof, which folds back. It's not in great shape, but hey, it's still there. Open the door. Automatic, needs work on the interior. You could see it. It's chewed up, but again, it's the uh, sunroof car, which is kind of cool. Let's see if I focus that in. There she goes. There you can see it. It's like the European cloth sunroofs are really cool because it goes really far back. It's got the usual speakers cut into the door panels. Very typical of the era. Look at the rubber the seals. You're going to need a whole seal kit. Cars, uh, a cruiser as is, but it is a project. It's kind of cool though. Asking 11.5 on it. What do you think? Again with the sunroof. That's the uh, main saving grace on that car.